Hey, what's going on, Link Gamespot crew? We are back for episode three. We're we're originally gonna do a four-part episode, level one through four, but we kind of just shot over past uh, level three on TCG Player, yeah, and uh, hit level four. Yeah, so, so shot right over level three, and uh, so we're gonna go over all the ins and outs of level four and just kind of how to continue growing your your TCG Player account and start making some money on it. So well, let's yeah. hop into it. All right, guys. So here we are. We are have reached seller level four on TCG Player. We got some bulk here. We're gonna talk about the secret to bulk towards the end of the video and tell you why it's important, what to watch out for, and how you should do it. And then we're also gonna go over how we've been doing for the past three weeks here on TCG Player. So for the past three weeks here on TCG Player, three weeks is less than three weeks is what it took us here at Elite Game Spot to reach level four. And in those three weeks ish, uh, we've netted sales of $1,895. That's insane for under three weeks. So with that, that's you know $1,800 in sales. Sales after fees, we're getting $1,600. That is all profit we can use to go back into the hobby, back into the business, and keep things growing, keep that snowball rolling. Now, as far as inventory goes, you can see we even right now we only have 144 total listings. Okay, and this is all bigger item cards, which is why we're going to talk about what is up next. What do we do next? How do we, how do we bring this account to the next, the next level? Level up. I mean, level four is the highest level, but how do we level up our sales and keep growing from here on out? You could just keep doing what we've been doing. You know, listing high ticket items or you know, sell items that sell really, really nicely. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making this to where more people can actually use it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to a website called LimitlessTCG.com. And what Limitless TCG is, is it is a, a collection of all the meta decks, all the top played decks right now. And it's gonna show us the cards, the common cards people are running in decks that we might not think are actually good to sell. So we'll just pull up this list here and we can see all these different cards. So we have Irida's, right? Irida's a common card. And look, four of those for $14. Let's see what they're running for. Irida Astral Radiance, $3.72 for the common, I believe on that, okay? Um, let's see, what other cards do we have on here? Uh, we have boss's orders boss's orders sells well about a dollar um all these common scoop up nets a really really good one every single deck plays scoop up nets and they're a couple bucks a couple bucks each uh battle vip passes again this is just a common well i mean technically it's a rare card but it's just a you know non-foil and it sells for about three dollars right and we can go through all these deck lists and we can actually see kind of what's correlating between them and get an idea of what common cards that we want to sell. So same here, we come on here, you can see a couple of the same stuff. So here we have some Marnies, right? Marnies are selling pretty well. Bosses orders again. Uh, we have Quick Balls. Quick Balls always sell really nicely. Um, Evolution Incense are really good right now. All these things, all these cards that play across all the decks are what you're gonna wanna look for. A look at the fusion deck so for fusion let's see if there's any commons in here that are doing really good so we have um double turbo energies right here um marnie's again boss's orders right so we can kind of see the correlation here here's four battle vip passes a common card right you probably have a few of these sitting in your bulk that you didn't even know was good and the thing with the common cards guys this this bulk stuff that's good competitively is the price is up on them because of the competitive aspect of the game as soon as these cards get rotated out as soon as they're not played anymore the price is going to go down these are cards you want to sell now you want to sell them while they're hot all right so i have this bulk box here we're going to go ahead and just you know this was traded in by a customer uh sometime last week i believe so we're just going to go ahead and go through this i, I have not looked at it yet and we're going to see if there's any bulk items that we think would be good to sell just by going through this so right off the back, we have a big barrel. This this card is used in a lot of decks. Let's see what else do we have in here? 
air balloon. Also used in a lot of decks. These are all common cards, reverse foils, rares, or anguru, right? This is how you turn your pennies into dollars, guys. Uh, escape rope, there we go. There's another really good one. Uh, rescue carrier, it's it does, it's not the most expensive card, but it's, it's played in some decks. Maybe take a look at something like that. Capture energies, there's a battle VIP pass. Oh look, there's trekking shoes, and another battle VIP pass, and another barrel. All right, Pumpkaboo. It's played in a couple decks right now. I mean, it's probably not the most expensive, but it's probably going to sell. Right? All of these things, guys. There's an Evolution Incense. All right? Raihan. That's another good card. It's, again, it's probably not the most expensive, but if you have 50 Raihans and you sell them each for 20 cents a piece, you know, that's it's turning pennies into dollars right there. As most Pokemon people out there are collectors, um... A lot of people won't see value in most of these cards, but when you're trying to put a deck together and you need, you know, four battle VIP passes and it's in the hottest deck right now, um, what happens is they sell out really quick and then supply becomes really low and then a card that was once selling for a quarter is now selling for a couple bucks a piece. But Barrel, it's, this is a draw engine, so it's important, so... If you're selling cards online, it's just as important to understand the game, even if you don't play it personally, at least understand why these cards are valuable. Um, but Barrel has an ability that uh, during your turn, you may draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. So that's something that you're going to want in a deck. Raihan, he's kind of like your comeback kid, like you get knocked out, this allows you to take an energy from your discard pile, attach it to one of your Pokemon, and uh, then search your deck for any card, any card that you want, you do not have to reveal it. So uh, a lot of decks play that, and you want at least one copy of that in, in a lot of decks. Uh, Pumpkaboo, um, not a super expensive card still, but the ability, especially since you're in a format where a lot of stadium cards are being played, uh, Pumpkaboo allows you to discard a stadium card as soon as you put it on your bench. So you put it on your bench, discard a stadium card and play. Um, allows you to get rid of, let's say, like a Path to the Peak, something like that, which kills abilities on your uh, Roblox Pokemon. And we have this Capture Energy over here, and with this Capture Energy in particular, these were selling for about 4 or $5 at one point in time, and these are down to about a buck. And the reason why is they were a lot harder to find, and there was a deck a while back that required Capture Energies, and they were really hard to find. So they were going for about 4 or $5. That was the time to sell these cards. I mean, yeah, they're still worth a buck, but... Thinking that, you know, a couple months ago I could have sold this for four. It's kind of sad. Anyway, guys, kept that super short and sweet for you. Just wanted to take you on that little journey going from zero sales on TCG Player, uh, level one account, all the way to level four. Uh, we did it. I know your original goal was to do it in a month, and yeah. we did it in less than three weeks. So it's pretty awesome. Over 100 sales. Um, by, I would imagine by the end of the day tomorrow we'll have you know close to two thousand dollars in sales and you know by the end of the month uh, we'll be up there. Might do a follow up video later, but I just wanted to do this quick little video series. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will catch you in the next video.